How to define a pattern in Adobe Illustrator. Okay, the first thing we want to do to get this started is I'm just going to click on this and delete it and then move my mouse over to the uh, toolbar and look for the swatches because I'm, I'm going to draw something and I, and I want to add a pattern to it. So I want a, a black stroke and no fill to do that. And I can get that by just toggling this and now I can see that I'm, when I start to draw, I've, I'm going to have a black stroke and no fill. So that's what I want. And now I'm going to come up to the pen tool and just roughly begin to draw out just an object here. It's going to be kind of rough, but just for the demonstration purposes of this tutorial, I think it's going to be fine. You can spend uh, a lot of time working on how these sorts of objects look. But again, for just the purposes of this tutorial, I think I'm happy with that. I'm going to call that a glove and I'm going to add a pattern to it. So uh, you might already have a pattern that you have in mind that you found on the internet or a pattern that you created in Photoshop or a pattern that you did with some colored pencils and scanned it in. In this um, example, I have a, uh, a, a pattern that I found on the internet and I'm going to to get it into Illustrator, I'm going to right click on it and hit copy image and just minimize the browser for a moment. Come back into Illustrator and then on my keyboard I want to hit Control V as in Victor to paste it in. And then I'm going to look at the uh, the zoom tool, hold down the Alt key to get that minus sign because I want to back away and just to make sure that it is actually selected. And then into the edit uh, um, pull down window up here. I want to click on that and come down to define pattern and give this pattern a name. And in this case I'm just going to call it leaves. And I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm just going to hit OK. And now to get back to the drawings that I did, I'm going to scooch this out of the way and zoom in a little bit. I'm keeping the plus sign at default and just clicking on the left clicking on the mouse to kind of zoom in and clicking on the selection tool to select that object and I can apply the the pattern that I just defined by looking in my swatches and if I look forward I can kind of see it in that little that little um, that um, little icon that's right there that looks like the leaves and that is indeed it so um, I've got the pattern there but I'm not happy with the scaling of the pattern so to scale that pattern down a little bit I can go into the ribbon and look at objects, click on that, come down one and look for transform and then go to scale and then the scale dialog box opens up. Now if this happens it's because the the I'm actually scaling the object and the pattern. I don't want to scale the object so I'm going to unclick that and I don't want to scale the strokes and effects because depending on what you're doing that could affect your your image in an adverse way so I'm going to uncheck that as well. And now with the preview checked I can see what I'm, I'm doing here. I can type in a number like 30 and if I just kind of click out of it, it it applies it. Or I can do this in an incremental sort of way by going to my keyboard and looking for the left and right and up and down arrow keys and if I click on the up arrow you can see that the so if I can get this a little bit closer, you can see that the pattern is changing. And let's say that I actually want the pattern something like that. Let's say that I'm happy with that. I'm going to hit OK. Um, OK, let's say that I'm happy with the scaling of the pattern, but I'm not happy with the placement of the pattern. To move that pattern around within the object, I can go... Um, actually, all I need to do is hold down the accent key on my keyboard and make sure that I have the the um, the selection tool still selected and I'll show you where that's at on your keyboard if you're not quite sure that's the key in the upper left hand corner that looks like that it's the accent key I'm going to come back into Illustrator zoom in a little bit and click on the selection tool and I'm holding down the accent key and I'm moving that around. You can see that it's, it's not moving the object but it's moving the pattern within the object. So that's what you're going to want to do sometimes. 
let's say that I'm happy with where that pattern is and I'm happy with the scaling so that would be done and, and I'm just going to delete that for right now and then go back to the zoom tool and hold down alt to zoom back to my little figure right here actually let me see if I can get get it set the way I want it and let's say that I want to apply a that, that same pattern to her dress but I don't want it to uh, bleed into her belt or anything or her skin or her hair or arm or anything um, to do that I'm going to just back up just one more time and click on the drawing and I can see that it's actually all grouped together because this is something that I just found on the internet for for demonstration purposes but the neat thing that came out with some of the later versions of Illustrator is that I can click on the expand button at the top of the at the top of the um, application in the ribbon and convert this object into um, a tracing object into paths into paths so I'm going to do that and now I've got all of the the paths of this object and um, I don't want if I try to apply it it's, it's going to apply to everything so I want to deselect everything that I have for just a moment by coming outside of the selection and just clicking once to deselect that come back over into the toolbar and click on the direct selection tool and then come back over to the to the drawing and click on the upper part of her dress and if I hold down the shift key I can add to my selection I'm going to do that and just click on the the bottom portion now and now I want to apply a pattern to that so I'm going back into the swatches I'm looking for that leaf pattern and there it is if I click that now I've got the pattern in her dress but again I'm not happy with the scaling of that pattern and I'm not, not happy with the placement of the pattern so let's do that once more I'm gonna go back into the object pull down window into transform and scale and I'm going to change the scaling of that and you can see as I'm changing those numbers it's changing the pattern let's say that I want the scale something like that I'm going to hit OK I've got the preview on so I can see what I'm doing as I'm working with the dialog box and again you want object unchecked or otherwise it's going to scale the actual object and it's going to really distort things so you just want pattern checked and the dialog box looks the way I want I'm going to hit OK and again I'm going to hold down the accent key well I still have I'm also going to go back and change from the direct selection tool to the selection tool click on the selection tool come back over to the drawing hold down the accent key and move that pattern around to where I might like it and let's say that I'm happy with that and you can see it's how it's moving the pattern around and I'm just going to stop there and that's how you can define a pattern apply it to an object, scale that pattern, and uh, move that pattern around. So um, that's how you do it. If you need any more help with um, something like this, you can often go into Google and type in whatever question you have and find some uh, 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 forum or message board that where people are talking about these sorts of problems because you're not the only one. People are asking these sorts of questions all the time on the, on the internet. If you can't find solutions you can always come to the Digital Media Center and ask questions too. So that's all for this tutorial.